Rise and shine, all you Web3 warriors. Welcome to Web3 Breakfast Bites, the show that's going to keep you up to date with all the latest crypto and blockchain news. Get ready to start your day with a dose of energy as we bring you the hottest headlines. So grab yourself a cup of coffee and let's dig into the exciting world of Web3. According to an article in Decrypt, the number of Bitcoin whales, now that's an address holding more than a thousand Bitcoin, has dropped to its lowest level since 2019. Now, while some may see this as a sign of decreased interest in Bitcoin, others argue, like myself, that this could be a positive development as it means that Bitcoin could become more decentralized. What do you think? Let us know down in the comments. Moving on to Ethereum, an article in Cointelegraph reports that the network's deflation is accelerating as the upcoming Shanghai upgrade looms. Now, some analysts predict that this could lead to a 30% drop in the price of Ethereum. However, this would absolutely be temporary because I and many others believe Ethereum's long-term outlook is massive. So keep an eye out for that. According to you today, Cardano creator Charles Hoskinson recently revealed that he believes the real trigger behind the recent regulatory attacks on crypto are not because of protecting investors, but rather about maintaining the status quo of the traditional financial system. Now, we all feel this. The SEC is dirty from the top down. Do you agree with that statement? Let us know down in the comments. All right, our final story today is about the metaverse. Now, according to an article, the new CEO of YouTube, Neil Mohan, recently spoke about the potential of Web3 NFTs and the metaverse. Mohan believes that these technologies have the potential to revolutionize the way we consume and create content. Now, this is absolutely huge news. As a content creator myself, I am excited to see how this is gonna shape up because we've seen a lot of crypto and Web3 accounts get banned just for making this content. Plus, with Web3-friendly Elon making focus to integrate crypto and creator payments into Twitter, this may be what YouTube needs to stay relevant. What do you think? Do you agree with that? Drop them down in the comments. All right, that is a wrap for today's Web3 Breakfast Bites. We hope you enjoyed the show and maybe learned something new. Make sure to share this episode with your community and do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. All right, until next time, stay informed, stay ahead of the game, never stop exploring the possibilities of blockchain with Web3 Breakfast Bites, and remember the future is yours to shape.